So it's my first day in Darjeeling. I've come to Glenary's because I was craving for my dry cappuccino, which not too many people other than Starbucks is aware of, but India will know. So a dry cappuccino is basically shots of coffee, but just with the foam, not the milk. But this is a good cappuccino. Today I'm gonna have dinner at the hotel, but um, the intention was to get out and have some momos at Kunga, which is shut. And I'm nibbly. Um, I'm gonna come back to Kunga tomorrow. But now that I'm in Glenaries, I've ordered a ham quiche and a cheesecake. Um, I'm gonna try both. Trust me. A bite of each. So let's start with the quiche. It's good. I wish there was more flavor of the ham. They've concentrated more on the carb. Mm. I'm gonna stick to one bite. Now let's see how the cheesecake is. Little tougher than I would like. I will not recommend this. It's a little dry. Mm. It's less sweet, which I do like, but this is really less sweet. Like I'm looking for the sugar. Still not coming. No, I think we should stick to breakfast here. Um, the coffee was really good if you like a good cappuccino. The quiche is fine, but honestly, I would have preferred it if they heated it a bit. Um, I'm going to still look for a couple of momos. If not, I'm going to enjoy my roast chicken at the window mare today. So this is Kunga. Anybody who's heard that we've come to Darjeeling said we must come here for momos. Usually it's very crowded and you have to be in a queue. But we're lucky that it's empty. Um, let's try it. What's a Thentuk soup? So we're at Kunga. I've ordered some steamed momos, pork momos, uh, noodles, and uh, something that is called a mixed Thentuk soup, which I've never tried apparently with flat noodles. Let's see how it is. I'm getting impatient. Wow. Do you have chopstick? Wow, wow. Okay, I can't wait. You try the broth first. Thank you. No, 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 no. There's no sauce required, there's nothing required. Mm. Oh, this is the noodle. Okay, now I know why this place is crowded. You know, the broth speaks for itself. The soup is like a hug. Please come and eat here. It's a flavorful broth. I think it's been cooking for ages. It's got all kinds of meat. Uh, the noodles, initially I thought it's like a wonton, but it's a thick noodles. I've never had a thang thuk before, but I know I won't stop. Mmm. Mmm. This itself is a meal. 
No, no. This is... This place is a must if you come to Darjeeling. And I'm not even reached the noodles and the momos. Come for this. If you're a soup lover, I am a soup lover. I chase good soups. So I have to try this noodles. This is also a mixed meat noodles, I believe. The fork is taking too long. Oh, oh. Let's try this. Oh my god. You know what the best thing about this place is? You don't need to add a sauce to anything. The soup still wins, but this is also beautiful. And the veggies are crunchy. The meat is to die for. The salt is on spot. A big thank you to everyone who has recommended this place so I can recommend this further. It's it's a take up a place mostly. Please make sure you've gone to the toilet and then come here. It doesn't have a loo, but it's still worth it. It's very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the momo. I need a knife. Okay. I'm not measuring my food today. Oh, it's juicy. The cover is not... Uh, I don't know why I'm saying the cover. The maida is not that... Uh, I've opened it up, but let's see. I can't put the whole thing in my mouth. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. The good thing is, you know some places have a big momo with less meat. Here it's just, this is perfect. Subtle, beautiful, I don't want a sauce. <clears throat> so good. So we're super full. We had three things. The thang thuk which was the best then there was the noodles which was nice and there was the momo momo was also very nice but i've had better but if you are a soup lover uh, noodle soup for you know these kind of things you love please try the thing soup here it is brilliant how far is the place not much i'm hungry not my how many meters 700 meters it's like 10 minutes of walk. Yeah, one monkey cat. If which car? I can't control unless you put Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Here is Kathmandu kitchen. Let's see where it is. Hello. No, this is a wine store. It's hidden. I think it's this way. The places I will go to for good food. Kathmandu kitchen. Thank you. Oh. Where is the entry? Here? No, here. Where is Kathmandu kitchen? Oh, thank you. Katmandu kitchen? 
Oke, thank you. Now I'm hungry. So thalis. You dry it, okay? Side of it. Okay, or? But the taste care difference is women. Actually, we have a So, choila little, choila egg thali. And egg mutton curry thali. This is a chicken. Looks amazing. It's got some peanuts. I'm going to ask her to describe what it is. I just went with the photograph and it's something new. I don't have the patience. I'm going to try some. Wow, I like the smoky smell of the chicken. Isko kya bolte didi? Oye di. Ye ye chicken is is dish ko kya bolte? Chicken sadeko. Sadeko. Chicken sadeko. This is a chicken sadeko. It is exactly like a chicken kimchi. It's got peanuts. It's got some spring onions. It's got lots of onions and sesame seeds. Yet I thought it'll be a little sweet because I'm used to seeing sesame on, you know, honey chickens and all. But this is not sweet. It's just like a kimchi, literally. I'm still discovering different flavors in this, honestly. Um, I like it with a little lemon. I'm tasting a little bit of, you know how black bean sauce is in um, Chinese food? There's that kind of a bit of an aroma and a taste and it's also made with mustard oil which you can taste. It's unique, it's very nice, it's a lovely starter. Must try. Pork shikwa. Pork shikwa. Okay. Mutton thali. Mutton thali. Dal. 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 Lovely. Okay, so this is rice. Rice. ये this is a green vegetable. This one, I use a green vegetable. This is soya bean. This is fermented soya bean. This is alu karela. This is pork shekwa. And the gravy, and this is dal. This is the mutton from the mutton thali. This thali will be repeated with this, and you will get to taste everything. Where do I start? I am not going to waste time. I am going to first have the pork. I will have the vegetables later. So I am going to have a bite of this pork with this gravy and the rice. It's wonderful. The pork is smoky, good balance of fat as well as meat. The gravy is very Indianized, but the combination together is pretty, pretty nice. Very, very nice. Wow, she's right. This was the good one. I am not going to have the karela. I am going to have some of the dal. Mm. It's very subtle. I prefer a Bengali dal. 
Um, but this one's this one's the winner. Pork is the winner. Try a little bit of the mutton. A small piece. Some gravy. Let me see. Nice. Um, I do prefer our Bengali mutton more. So this is also very nice, but again, winner. Winner is oink oink. Oink oink is the winner. This is it. Please have the pork sekwa thali at Kathmandu Kitchen and let me know how you like it. Okay, so I don't like soybean so much, but this is fermented soybean, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, so the moment they ferment it, there is this black bean flavor that's coming. I don't know how, but that's that's how it feels. Not bad, not bad. So we had an amazing meal at Kathmandu Kitchen. If it comes to a Nepali thali, please come and try this out. It has been recommended to me by a local called Shashank. And thank you, Shashank. It was the best choice ever. Let's go. So we're at Penang restaurant in Dajili, recommended by quite a few people. Uh, we just came back from the tea estate, we're pretty hungry, it's late, so we've ordered many things. A momo and thuppa already here, we got a Nepali thali, we got some fried rice, lots of food coming up. I'm gonna have one right away. No time wasting. Okay, this is this is the best one I've had since I've come. Mm. I actually like this more than Gunga. Oh. <clears throat> so this momo, I already had one. I also had it in Gunga, which people are crazy about. But the momo in Penang, according to me, is better. It's a good size. The pork filling inside is way more flavorful. And what I like is the batter on top is not too thick. It's just right. And I'm not even requiring a sauce. This is beautiful. So today at Penang, I've decided to overdose on pork dishes. We've only ordered pork dishes. This is some pork fried rice. And this is some chili pork. With a little bit of gravy. Let me just try this. Looks so good. Mm. Fried rice is beautiful. The rice is beautiful. The pork is beautiful. This gravy is strong in ginger and coriander and spring onions. It's very nice. So I had a thali yesterday, a Nepali thali, but I liked it so much I had to try it in a different place. So this is a pork thali at Penang. This is the pork curry. This is the dal. Kumluka dal or something, that's what they said, right? This is uh, the uh, fermented uh, soya beans. This is mulika achar. This is powdered crispy sesame seeds. This is some fried potatoes, some spinach, and some pumpkin. So let me just dig in. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to first try the pork. Okay, let me see how this is. Very different from yesterday's pork. 
This feels more Indianized, more homely. It's very nice. Let's try some dal. Oh, this is absolutely watery. You have it with the spinach. Interesting. This is the fermented soybean. This seems to be a part of every thali here and pretty commonly eaten by people here. This has a stronger fermented taste than the one I had yesterday. Let me try this. Yeah, this is a radish pickle. It's going to take a little bit. Maybe put a little dal. Very interesting. Now let me try some of the sesame seed powder. Take some of the pumpkin. I'm just making my own combinations. And I think I'm going to avoid the fried potatoes. Very interesting. Not bad at all. So Panang again is another place recommended by many people. Do come and check it out. You have thalis, you have momos, you have chili pork, you have fried rice. You have it all here, including soups. Give it a try.